What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here with yet another affordable Amazon scrunch legging haul. We're taking a look at three unique sets. We have shorts and leggings, all scrunch bums. They are from the brand Yorio. Every piece in today's video is $30 or under, but we're also here to test them out, see how they hold up at the gym, and whether or not they are actually worth the money. All of my true size small measurements will be right over here for you, as well as in the description box. You can also find each item in today's video linked down below as well. Well, thank you so much Yorio for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out for my review. I noticed that they do a lot of trendy activewear. Styles and designs we've all seen. They actually make it known, I believe on their Instagram I saw, that they specialize in keeping up with the trends. So if something's super popular, you can probably eventually see it on there. But for a much more affordable price. Now, I'm sure we've all seen this style on social media. I don't know what it is about this tie dye, but I can't not see it. This is their high rise booty scrunch seamless professional tie dye leggings in blue. They're $29.99. They have a ton of colors. We are looking at a high rise massive scrunch bum. There's a ton of booty grabbing going on here. You have the under glute contour mesh, so it's breathable. Very boxy waistband, ribbed. This is a seamless legging, but you do have a pretty heavy V seam at the lower waistband. The scrunch is absolutely massive on here. It goes from the bottom of the band to the gusset. It has that exaggerative butt scrunch. You know, almost like a cat hole, but I do feel like the tie-dye really helps distract that. Down the side, you have really heavy ribbed contour paneling. Overall, the feel, it's pretty textured. It's very thick very dense, somewhat stretchy in this direction, but not this direction so much. So it's not a total four-way stretch. When wearing this to the gym, my first gut reaction was, okay, when I'm squatting, I feel it. The lack of stretch, especially when in a low squat, is where I can feel this scrunch. I did notice when squatting, because of the stiff scrunch, I did feel like it was pulling on the lower band. So with that being said, I started to feel like it was dipping a little bit. I also didn't feel any real compression in the waistband. I think that has to do with why I felt a little bit of slipping. The overall leg compression is double the compression of the band. So even though there's really no compression in the band, it's all in the legging. I do think this material is very thick. Not totally breathable. I do think given its density and the quality of the material, this would be a really good gym legging. Great for lifting, power lifting. It's got that rugged quality to it. This is not the type of legging you have to worry about seeing through. There was no sheerness, none on the back, none around the quads, but I would really love to see this legging with a little bit more stretch in it. The length was pretty good though, and I can't get over this design. I do really love that tie-dye look, especially in this blue. This was super sweat proof too. So if you're a heavy sweater, I think you'll be just fine in this. It didn't show sweat and it wicked it very well. My true size small, I would stick with it. But if you're in between sizes, then I would suggest sizing up. I think if you were to size down, it'd get a little hairy right around the quad area. I do think it gets a little too stiff and then you're just really going to struggle with the stretch. So overall thoughts on this legging. I think if you're somebody where glute aesthetic is very important, you don't mind having a lower compression waistband, maybe you prefer that, and you need a little more support in the leg area, then yeah, I think this gym legging would be great for you. I paired these leggings with the V-neck strappy crisscross sports Bella bra. This rolls in at $24.99. I did notice that for what I do at the gym, doing a lot of bending, is when I started to notice the crazy side boob in this bra a lot. Now it never ever slipped on out. There was no nip slip syndrome here, but I did feel like, okay, wow, I gotta just rearrange for a second, hold up. This particular cut is sexy. There's no denying that, but I don't think it's totally functional for the gym. I think this is more of a show bra, especially if you're bigger chested than me. I mean, I, there's really no support in this sports bra. You do have removable bra pads and a nice mesh lining. So it is very lightweight. You have a very thick band down here. So there's like a minimal support, but where it lacks is right around here. So no support here, decent support underneath. So if you lift your arms up, you're not gonna fall out under the bra, but if you move any other way, 
it might shift out this way, especially if you have a ton of side boob like me. I don't know where, where I get that from, but all my boob is right here. There's no adjustments. My, my favorite part is the back. I've always been a fan of really dainty, crisscross ballerina style straps. I think it gives such an elegant, classy, feminine look. It just, ugh, it's so yoga. Even the front here, it's double strapped but stitched together in little segments, it just adds a really pretty look. I do believe this is very true to size. Ultimately, if I was in between, I would probably end up going down rather than up. Next up, we have the High Rise Pattern Seamless Camo Leggings in the color blue. These are $29.99. As you can see, it's very reminiscent of a Gymshark legging they had years ago. Their camo, the traditional camo legging. Like circa 2019 right here, even down to the scrunch. Now obviously Gymshark doesn't have anything quite like this. So if you missed out on their old camo style, especially if you like this color in the camo design, check them out. They also have other colors as well, but they fit entirely different, straight up. If you're thinking this is a complete and utter replica, you're wrong. So we have the squared off waistband, definitely more compressive of a legging than the tie dye you just saw, like way more compressive. If you're in between, you gotta size up with this one. The scrunch bum, just like we're used to, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it is a little something. This is definitely more of a subtle route with the scrunch bum than the previous tie-dye. These leggings were 100% squat proof on me. I haven't seen anything in Yorio that's sheer. It doesn't have that crazy softness to it. So if you're trying to relate it to Gymshark and you're like wondering like, well, how similar is it? It doesn't have that polyamide, that really soft buoyancy to it. This has more of a rugged, a little bit more stiffer of material. Very similar to the tie-dye in terms of stiffness. There there's no logo, no branding whatsoever. Not at the ankle, not on the band, nothing, not even on the inside. I paired those camo leggings with the Pro Classical Bandeau Sports Katie Bra in white. You know I love a nice bandeau. When I first pulled it out of the package, it looked big. I was like, oh crap, there might be extra material. It might look saggy on me. But when I put it on, I was like, oh, thank goodness there's enough room. <laughs> nothing was spilling over, nothing was uncomfortable. Actually, there's a decent amount of coverage, especially for it being a bandeau style. Again, so bandeau, you have this straight neckline, removable bra pads. I felt the support right away. I guess it's because I was wearing the other one way too long. Then when I put this one on, I moved around in this and there was no shifting, no side boob, no anything. My chest felt very secure in this. Even though the other bra had much more of an aesthetic backing, it wasn't adjustable. This one is, and the cups are actually sewn separately so you never have to worry about them overlapping. So if I'm on the hunt for a cute, gym friendly sports bra, this is the one I would go for. Last but not least, we have the Seamless Scrunch Workout Shorts High Waisted Booty Lifting Gym Yoga Shorts in Black. These are only $22.99. Now I wanted to go with black because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super honest with you, in case they didn't quite work for me, my body type, I wanted the option to wear them underneath dresses and things like that. So that's why I went with the staple black, so it'll go with anything. Let's start with the waistband. We actually have a crossover V waistband. This is a very thick ribbed band, super thick. No front seam like the rest of them. None of these have front seams, thank goodness. Look how short these are though. I don't have to pretend here. It's not that I don't like them. I do like short shorts, but not on me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my comfortable length, around six to eight inches. This looks like it's about three inches, maybe four, probably around three inches. On the back side, you have the same exact scrunch as the first tie-dye legging. You already know what that means. It is a stiff scrunch. You do feel it when you squat, but it doesn't really pull as much because you don't have all the rest of the material. I actually think this is a very comfortable short overall, but just like the rest of the leggings, these are super squat proof. If I could just get this in a little bit of a lengthier short, maybe more biker style, then I'd be all over it. You don't have any under glute contour. There's an ever so slight contour on the sides of the glutes, but not underneath. The thigh cinch is there. It's not terrible, it really isn't terrible. I've had way worse. I actually really love the way my glutes looked in these. They were spot the frig on. Now I did notice when squatting in these, there was a bit of a roll up. I'm not surprised because they're so short, that they would eventually just like make their way up. I do know that it's a style for a lot of you. In fact, a lot of you actually go out of your way to make them roll up and you rock it and you pull them off. I think these are overall true to size, but if you're in between, 
just like the rest of them, size up. So I think if you're looking for a good pair of booty pop and short shorts, these could definitely be it. There's no doubt they're flattering and you don't see any cat hole scrunch because of the dark color. To pair with those shorts, I grabbed the same exact sports bra but in black, the first one you saw. I do wanna make note that the material we have in the V-cut sports bras and the material we have in the bandeau is very different. This material has more of a brushed fabric, not super good at wicking sweat. The bandeau is, which is why I really suggest it for the gym. This fabric is very wicking, got that slippery to the touch feel. So I think if you sweat a lot, this is the bra you wanna go with regardless. All right guys, that concludes today's video. What are our thoughts? Have you tried this brand? Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Hey, babe. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that?